What opportunities are on the horizon as the Association of Southeast Asian Nations moves toward a single market economic community? That was the topic of a day two concurrent workshop at the 2014 Asian Financial Forum in Hong Kong, where the discussion was about how this new 600 million strong ASEAN community will change the landscape of the region. The much awaited emergence of the ASEAN economic community will further strengthen this unique body, pulling together the economic threads of all members while setting still loftier goals to be soon within its grasp. The blueprint aims at achieving the eventual economic convergence that will create a level playing field for all the member countries. All it takes is a little patience. Both ASEAN and China's uh, leader have a very optimistic views that the partnership will be uh, able to be expanded further in the future. ASEAN investment to FDI to China is even bigger than Chinese FDI to ASEAN. Through a number of activities, we hope that the trade imbalances will be able to be addressed, the investment will be increased from China to ASEAN, and also the number of tourists is also going to be increased to ASEAN. So far, we already spent uh, $700 million in 11 projects in 10 countries. I think we have in ASEAN not only a vast population of 600 million, but a growing middle class. And this presents a lot of opportunities for companies from Hong Kong and businessmen from China. Consumer demand will continue to drive growth in the ASEAN countries. There will be a lot of spending on housing, on banking services, on uh, the property market, credit cards, education, luxury goods, hotel development. You have a big talent in Liverpool and with such big mismatch of labors and talent around this region, I think we can actually work together to better, better utilize this big pool of people. And I think this is an area that I think China and the AEC should work together. And second, is the resources again. You have so many resources in, in Asian countries and in China, and a lot of them, you can actually work together. Some are very rich in resources, some are very good in exploration, design, marketing, whatever. And if we work together, I think this is really a huge market that we cannot um, afford to ignore. So free trade, I think, is critical for uh, economic development. Of course, it's true you know, for, for ASEAN. The, the key you know, results from free trade is the creation of value. I think Hong Kong can do a lot by uh, basically integrating ASEAN and China. We have guaranteed one uh, uh, PPP project, uh, Central Java Power Plan. It's a two by one thousand megawatts. It's a, about four billion US dollars project. I think there are over sixty thousand items uh, that are now have zero import tariffs across the different countries. Uh, if you take ten countries, each one of them have a, a FTA with each other, and then also with other outside countries as well. And that, that has really, uh, uh, really opened up free trade, but it hasn't actually really uh, stimulated as much trade as it could be possible. There's opportunities within ASEAN, within, within the ASEAN countries themselves, much more opportunity, and there's more opportunities for China to invest in ASEAN.